Hello, it's Tammy with Food for Food Studio, and it is week 24 of the Marguerite Miller Weekly Assignment Challenge. And today, rather than it having prompts, um, it asks a question, and you're supposed to create a collage based on the question. And the question is, do you have a favorite song, artist, or style of music? Create a collage with this as your theme. So, it's a little bit different than what is normally um, done uh, where she gives you the six prompts. Um, and she does have a few of these thrown in this year. Uh, that are, um, you know, not just six prompts. They're answering a question or something like that. So, um, for those of you not familiar, Marguerite Miller um, has this available on her Etsy. Um, you can buy just the prompts. You can buy a, a, a weekly planner that has the calendar and the prompts uh, that you can, uh, you know, do the, do the assignment on the facing page, or she has a digital version that you can download and print off yourself and make your own planner. Um, I don't use a planner, uh, so I purchased just the prompts and I'm working on that. And, um, if you're just joining me for the first time, I'm just using a sketch diary, and mine is nine and a half by six, and you, of course, can use, you know, whatever you prefer to use for this, and um, I do have a playlist that has all the previous collages uh, in it with the prompts, if you would like to view those or you see any of these that you would like to know how I made them. They're all there. And so, this was last week. And so, we're on 24 and we are once again going up and down. Um, the hardest part of this one was for me to decide what's my favorite song. Because I have so much music that I absolutely love and I have artists that I love. And so, um, I picked, uh, because I'm a 70s baby, 60s, 70s, you know, 70s when I was into music, 70s and, you know, 80s, 60s, I wasn't really into music, so, um, I, of course, like all the, uh, you know, Brock, Aerosmith, Journey, the Eagles, the Beatles, of course. Um, I like country music. I like, uh, you know, really just any kind of music. Um, I have ink on my hands. I apologize for that. I was working on some other things. But, like I said, I have so much music that I like. The hardest, my hardest decision was picking what I wanted to do. So, I ended up going with Imagine by John Lennon, and I think it's appropriate for what's going on in the world right now, and it has always been one of my favorite Beatles songs, and so that's what we're going to do. Uh, when I was younger, I uh, took piano lessons, and it was one of the songs that I learned to play on the piano, and um, that and Let It Be are probably my two favorite Beatles songs to play on the piano. So, that's kind of where that came from. Sorry, I had to get a drink. I was getting a tickle. So, this one's going to be fairly quick, I think, because it came together a lot quicker than I thought it was going to. Um, so, we're going to go ahead and get started. 
This is my background and it is simply a piece of scrapbook paper that I had. Um, I didn't do a thing to it except rip it down and ink the edges. It already had all these little dots with the shiny kind of embossed little dot colors. And I just ripped it down to fit the page and that's gonna be our background. I've got my overhead light on today, so I've put this paper back here hoping that it's cutting some of the glare off the glass mat from the overhead lighting. It's after dark here, and I don't have any natural light coming in, so I had to turn the overhead light on. Normally, I can just use my window light. So, I hope you can see everything okay. And I hope everybody is having a good time weekend it's the weekend even though this will not play till later in the week i'm trying to get a little bit ahead on some of my videos so you will have already had your weekend by the time that i release this we're just going to put, not upside down, put this on as the background. And like I said, I didn't do a thing to this except just rip it down to the page size. So there's our start, and I actually have some of the lyrics to the song that were in a children's book, believe it or not. And then I found this little girl um, in the same book, and I picked her because she's kind of pointing up. And so, I want to put her here, I believe. Maybe over just a tad. I'm going to put my title there. Okay, and then I took this die cut of the world. And I took some washi and I made a peace symbol on it with the washi. And I'm going to put it up here like she is pointing to it. And then I took this number one and I covered it with music paper. And that's to symbolize the lyrics. I hope someday you'll join us and the world will be as one. I think I'm going to put that about right there. And then I have, like I said, I have the title. And it'll probably go somewhere like that. And then I have just some flowers to put in her other hand over here because it looks like it's just hanging out, so I wanted to kind of put some flowers, and then I've got three butterflies, and I'm just going to somehow spread those around, so I'm thinking something like that is what we're going to go for. I told you this is going to be a quick one. So it looks like the first thing I want to glue down is the flowers. So I'm gonna lift that up and get the flowers in place and that's gonna kinda determine where I want her. So 
if I can get these in here to look like she's holding them. I think I do want to take my little scissors. Oh, don't glue down yet. She was holding on to those flowers and kind of define her hair a little better. Looks kind of flat. I'm just taking some little nips out here and there. Give it a little more definition. Yeah, that's better. Okay, so we will put her about right there, I think. And I'm going to go ahead and use our glitter glue on most of this because I'm not sure how a glue stick would glue over those little raised dots. Oh, and I can tell you one thing I forgot to bring over here is my number. I put it on the block, but I think it's sitting over in my stamping area. Hmm. I'll have to go check that out when we get to that point. Because she's, the way she was sitting on the page in the book, I'm putting her all the way to the bottom because it's a flat cut. Okay, and then... I think about right there. John's name. All right, so now let's get the world in place. This is a Tim Holtz die cut. And like I said, I just put the washi on there to make the piece, piece fine. Which was also a Tim Holtz die cut. And again, I just put the music paper on it because it was black and I thought that was too harsh for trying to go for something peaceful. And then these butterflies are also Tim Holtz. I'm 
home. I can't forget or imagine here. my pivot there. Sorry if my head was in there. Let me make sure that's somewhat straight. And I'm going to take my little pin and draw some antennae on here. Then I'm going to take the Stabilo All and outline her just a little bit. And this is just a water brush and it just makes that pen or pencil spread out because it's water soluble. Soluble. Having a problem saying that. And if you are new and you haven't seen me do this before, a Stabilo All is a pencil that was created to mark up, um, like China, um, put prices on China because it would stick to the China, but you could wash it off with water. And um, artists figured out that it was a great medium to work with because it was water soluble and it was a good tool to use to create shadows um, and stuff around your mixed media. And so that's kind of how that came about. And you can get them at most art stores. I got mine at Jerry's Artorama, which does have it online. Um, but I'm sure there are several.
to have them. I think I'm going to do just a little bit around the, I'm going to turn this just a little bit because I want to do a little bit just around here. And remember, this is water, and so it's it's looking right now a lot more spread out and dramatic than it'll actually be when it dries. Because basically I'm just wetting the paper, and so a lot of what you're seeing is just water. It's not the actual black of the pencil. Okay, I'm going to go over here really quickly and grab my stamp that I must have left on the other table. I did. And I'm wondering, I brought the coffee over here. Let me look at this. I've got a little scrap piece of that paper. I'm wondering if that's going to show up. Oh, yeah. I think that's fine. Okay. I have a I'm debating whether I want to do any more stamping. Um or if I feel like that is going to do it. What do you guys think? I kind of like the calmness of it, actually. And I believe... I am going to... A little bit of Sibylla all right around this one right here. Actually, I might put it down this whole side. I really got the water going there for a minute.
Okay. I believe that's about got it guys like I said I knew this one wasn't gonna take long so I'd love to hear in the comments what your favorite song is what kind of music you like It's always interesting to know what other people prefer. Okay, that's it. Week 24 in the books. So I hope you guys enjoyed that and Sorry it was a quick one, but it just came together real quickly, and there weren't a lot of moving parts to it, so I didn't have to um, struggle with it too much. So that's a good thing, but it also makes a very short video. So I am going to be starting a new journal on Saturday, I believe, if I don't start it before. If I do start it before, I'll catch you up on the weekend. And until then, I hope everybody continues to have a great week, and I'll see you this weekend. Bye.